guys and welcome back. Now you will have noticed that I'm in a different location to usual and that is because I have moved out. Dan and I have moved into a flat and that is why I have been a bit quiet on the channel lately and on my blog but I am vlogging this moving out week so I shall be putting that up soon so if you want to hear about the flat, see the flat and sort of see the stages of it then watch out for that vlog and I thought I would do on what I got for Christmas which might go up a little bit later than everybody else but that's because we have literally moved out the week after Christmas so everything is everywhere and I've just had to grab everything I can remember that I got for Christmas. Now because we did move out a lot of the things are homey things, some of it is boring like pots and pans and things like that so I'm not going to show you those but I'm going to show you all the prettier things and yeah let me just get started. I'm going to start with this because it's the biggest thing and if I just get it out of the way then it's easy and done. And I got this fabulous Topshop teddy bear sleeping gown. I wanted one of these last year but I didn't get one. But oh, it is the most cosy thing ever and it has a hood and I love it so much. And basically it is the thickest, coziest, softest thing I have ever felt in my entire life. And I've been wearing this probably nearly every single day since Christmas, so I love it so much. And I think if that ever got gross, I'd probably buy myself a new one because it's so lovely. Next, I'm going to do some homey things because they're right there and it'll just be easier for me to get those out of the way as well. My mum and dad got me this really cute little whisk, which is pink and blue and then it's got a wooden handle. I'm not sure where they got these things from, probably just from some little shops. Probably in Hastings because I know that they got some things for me when they went away for the weekend. My sister got me these really cute things that are chalkboard labels and you put these on glass jars or however what you want to use them for um, and they come with some chalk as well. I will show you what I've done with a sugar pot. So there we go, it's a sugar pot and I've just written sugar on it and I've got the tea one as well. This has actually rubbed off a bit so I need to redo that. I think they are wipeable so that's really good. And I got the jars from Ikea, if you were wondering. I also got lots of cute tea towels, so quite pink. I don't think Dan minds too much because they're tea towels after all, so there we go. Um, these are probably just from different places as well. I'm not sure where they're from, I'm afraid. But if I can find some similar and you're interested, I'll link some of those in the box below. I also got this really super cute apron from Dan's mum, which is very frilly and very pretty, and it's got a tie like that and then it just goes down like that and it's got pockets and it's all frilly um, I think she may have got these from House Fraser but I'm just guessing I don't know for sure and then there was also a matching oven glove so that is really cute as well I've realised this is probably a bit more like a home haul but you know that's just what I got so it's kind of like a home haul slash what I got for Christmas next I'm going to show you these because I love them so much my mum got me these and I did ask for them but they're these really cute cream scales and these are from Argos and they're a really good price. I think they're like £16 or something when I asked for them. So I love that a lot. And they're really retro and they're sitting on some shelving units in the kitchen. I got a lot of baking things that I hadn't actually asked for. Like an, a um, rolling pin, things like that. So I think Dan was hinting at me making some cakes. I got this flour thing which you put flour in it and then you squish this thing. And it sieves it all out, which is so good if you're being lazy and you can't go to use a sieve. And I really like this retro feel to this as well. And my mum actually ended up getting me something else by this company, which is funny because that was Dan's mum. And it's this, which is really interesting. It's like a pink um, measuring cup and it's got imperial measurements and metric measurements. And inside it's got lots of different measurements. So you there's things like ground rice, you just fill this up and it tells you where level would be how much it weighs coconut things like that it's got all sorts in it so that is really great um for anything really if you need to measure something quickly and dan's mum also got me this which i love so much it's a baking bowl this is also from house of fraser and it's got a little writing here that says homemade with love so i love this a lot it is quite heavy so you probably if you've got it filled with baking it might be a bit difficult but yeah really super pretty i love that Dan got me some measuring cups, a bit noisy, but these are really great if you're making a cake or something and every, all the measurements are in cup sizes because I'm not very good at cup sizes. So yeah, those are very good. If I continue to do some more of the homey things and then I'll get on to more of the beauty cutie things. My dad actually made this for me for Christmas, which is a bit unusual, but he actually makes sculptures out of car parts. And this is a banana holder. I actually asked him if he could make one of these for us for our new home. And yeah, it's got car parts 
and it's white, he painted it white, and your bananas just sit on there, and they hang there, so I really love that, and it was really nice that he actually made me something for Christmas, and that, yeah, I can say, oh, my dad made that, so, yeah, love that. Now, this may seem a little bit unusual for most people, but I have got a bit of an obsession with globes, and I've always really wanted a pretty one for my home. Now, I didn't realise that I went on about it that much, but Dan obviously clearly listens to me when I wasn't sure that he does. <laughs> um, and he actually bought me a globe, and I love this so much. It's kind of got copper detailing on it, which is really good because a lot of the stuff in our living room has got copper-like colours. Um, and it's actually got raised bits for the mountains as well. He actually got this on Amazon, um, so he said it was quite a reasonable price for the good quality that it is, so I love it a lot. and. It's so funny because I wasn't expecting it, but it was something that I really wanted. So it's not everyone's taste, but there you go. Moving on to more of the beauty bits now. A lot of this Christmas was sort of little bits and bobs here and there. And as I say, we've got a lot of things that are a bit boring, like knife sets. And oh, I can't even think what we got now, but things like that. So I'm not going to show you that sort of thing. But I got a Toblerone because Toblerones are my favourite kind of chocolate. Dan got me these, which I am so happy with. It is the Zoeva rose gold brush set so they come in this really cute little wallet satchel thing and then you take them out they're in a plastic bag still and here they all are they're still in their packaging apart from i have actually used one but they are so pretty and i am so happy that i got these i do use the real techniques brushes but i've wanted to try some different ones and this one here is the silk finish brush and i've used that already for foundation and it's lovely and all the rest is kind of some eye ones in there and some more face ones, so I love that a lot. I think it was actually sold out in quite a lot of places over Christmas, so he was very good to get that. I just found this little guy hiding, and he is still something to do with food, but it is this French Bulldog coaster, which I love, and this was from Dan's mum as well, so yeah, I love that a lot, it's really cool, and a coffee table. Dan also went and got me the McBusted album, which I am really enjoying so far. I am more of a McFly girl at heart, but I did want to listen to this and he got this for me for Christmas and we already listened to it a few times in my car and it was really good. So I am loving that already. This is a bit of a random one and I actually bought this for myself before Christmas but I'm kind of saying it was a Christmas present to myself. And this was from the company A Beautiful Mess which is actually a blog as well. And I saw someone mention that they had these limited edition diaries on Twitter. So I ended up grabbing one and it's so amazing. So it's a 2005 organiser slash diary and it's this pink one and when you open it out it's all bright colours and it's got dividers in it and it's got quotes in the front bit of every month and then you then have a to-do list then you've got a monthly planner there and then for every month you've then got a weekly planner as well but I love this so much um, I think it was quite expensive I think it worked out like 20 or 25 pound which is a lot of money I know for a diary but I think actually if I'd have thought about this before Christmas it would have been a really nice present for somebody probably my sister because she does like a good organiser and diary but um, I don't know if these are still available I will try and link them below but I do know that they were limited edition and running out and selling out quite quickly but I love this a lot and I can't wait to start planning kind of like blogging and YouTube things with this and Dan also bought me Zoella's book, Girl Online. Um, I haven't started reading it yet, but I'm looking forward to doing it. I just love the colour. I think it's really girly and really cute. I'm looking forward to reading this anyway. Apparently it's quite a cute book. And then I also got these pyjamas from Dan, which are so cute. I did ask for these, but I didn't think he'd be able to find them because of what Primark is like. And they're the Olaf frozen pyjamas. And it says on it, some people are worth melting for which is really super cute and then the bottoms are like this which are really cute as well and they have the cuff bottoms which are my favorite kind of pajama so i love those a lot i've been wearing those probably since beginning of christmas as well i got my favorite perfume which is the eccentric molecule 01 which smells amazing and the idea is that it smells different on every person i'm just going to spray it now Oh, I love it so much. I don't think it's a very strong scent and people can't always smell it on you, but it kind of subtly comes and goes and it's so nice. Um, and I'd actually already gotten rid of a whole bottle of this, so I needed another one. So I got this from Dan's Nan, which is really lovely. And yeah, it smells amazing. My sister bought this for me, which is a really cute leopard print tangle teaser, which is great for the handbag because it's got this kind of like back thing on it, which you can take off and so you don't stab yourself <laughs> when you grab it out of your handbag. And then another thing that my sister got, which is so funny and I love it, 
It is the Colour Me Swoon book and this has all of the most attractive guys ever in it and the idea is that you kind of colour it in but what I like about this is I read through it and it's just quite a good book as well. It's got funny things, there's like activities in there and I think this is quite a good coffee table book. And so yeah, it's really fun to get your girly friends and yeah, it's really cute. Then lastly, I just got a few Lush things, so I'll go through those. And I got the Snow Fairy Shower Gel from Dan's Brother, because I've always wanted to try this, and it is really nice. It's really sweet, so if you don't like sweet things, then you won't like this. And then I also got this, which is the Creamy Candle Bubble... Bubble... Creamy Candy Bath Bubble Bath. I'm actually going to get this out, because I haven't actually got it out myself. I always ask for bubble baths, because they last, obviously, for a long time. And this is what this one looks like, so it's super cute and pink and smells amazing. It smells like um, Parma Violet, so that is really nice. I need to have so many bars now, I've got so many bubble bars around. I also got this Drummer's Drumming Bubble Bar from Dan's Brother. It's actually got a bell on it, I haven't actually seen these before I think, so I'm going to have a look. Ooh, it's interesting. Wow. <laughs> It's so bright. It's pink and yellow. That is so cool. And it's got little bells on it. I've never seen this one before. This one's quite nice because it's not actually that sweet. It's not one of their sweet, sweet ones. So if you're not like feeling in that kind of mood, then that'd be nice. And the last one I got was the Pop in the Bath Bubble Bar Slice. This one smells good. And it's another pretty one. So that's really cute. It's blue it's green and pink and that smells amazing that's probably actually my favorite out of all three of those smelling wise so that is everything i got for christmas i hope you liked what i showed you and as i say i have moved out now so i will probably have a few different backgrounds and it might be a little bit echoey in here and um, so i'm sorry about that if you have any more video ideas of what you want to see on my channel please let me know because i want to kind of revamp things and try and get videos up every week again for you so just let me know what your favourite kind of videos are if you want to see some more homey posts now that I've moved out and I've got my own place then let me know too I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you soon bye